So in this video, we'll talk about one of the most underrated hacks to do cold outreach, which is to scrape a very custom audience. So if you're somebody who's using the same tools for list building that everybody else is using, like Apollo or LinkedIn Sales Navigator or one of these others, right? Like there's thousands like these. They all come from the same database, right? Like Zoom Info, Apollo, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, pretty much the same. But if you can scrape a niche audience, right? Then you have a great reason to reach out and a great target list as well, which is what we did for one of our customers. So recently became a customer. Now this customer is basically a SOC 2 provider, right? Which means that if you're a software company, you probably need this certification if you want to sell into larger enterprises, right? So, so these, this client wanted to reach out to SaaS companies who uh, may or may not have a SOC 2 certification. And then these guys make them make it very easy for them to get SOC 2 certified without spending a lot of money, without taking a lot of time, right? Because they actually make their money on business insurance, which is a different model compared to other SOC 2 providers like Wanta, Drata. There's lots of, lots of them in the market. So what we did for them was something very creative. We went and scraped Nathan Latka's podcast, right? So Nathan Latka is a big influencer in the SaaS space. If you're a SaaS founder who's even moderately successful, if you're even doing one KMRR, he invites you on uh, his podcast to talk about how you grew and how you're, you know, what kind of revenue you're doing, what growth channels you're using and all of that. So scraping Nathan Latka's podcast would be a great way to one, establish a reason for reaching out. You can just say, hey, I heard you on Nathan's podcast. How are you doing? Just curious. Uh, have you thought of getting SOC 2? You know, whatever it is, something like that. So let me show you exactly how we use that scraping hack to get good leads for this particular client. Okay, perfect. So this is what we did, right? Let me go into sales robot account and see how we're using it. All right, so this is the, this is the account. Let me show you the campaign we're running and uh, how we did it. We actually did it in clay, but yeah, that is how we actually went through it. All right, so we are actually running two campaigns. Uh, campaign number one is customers without SOC 2. So we scraped Nathan Latka's uh, podcast list and then we uh, segmented into two areas. We asked Clay's AI agent, Clay agent, like tell me if this particular customer has SOC 2. So it basically Googles them, goes on their website, sees if they have a SOC 2 badge. And then we segmented into two areas. SaaS companies without SOC 2, with SOC 2. And let me show you um, each particular messaging and why it works. Simple connection request. Saw your interview on podcast and wanted to reach out, right? And then there's the uh, second message after connecting and it's it's got a good response rate, about 13.79%. Um, hi, first name. First of all, I want to say I found the interview very inspiring. I was actually doing some research on your company and seems like you have a SOC 2 certification. Just curious, did you end up using a compliance vendor like Wanted Data or something else? So just making a question, right? Asking a question, not pitching anything. Um, and they're more likely to reply because they feel like this is not an automated message. They've seen my podcast, they've reached out, and then, you know, um, and then you've, they've done some research, right? So we're using the research in the copy, which is the way to get responses these days. First name, I talk to a number of software companies. I often hear that the market leaders in compliance automation space are too expensive. We've got a unique model. We make our money on business insurance, which is a requirement of SOC2 which means we're able to give away a white glove service of compliance experts in the sort of a very cheap. Would you be open to looking at our service as an alternative? Do let me know either way. Again, like we're positioning our offering as unique, right? And then it's a reminder and then yeah, again, reminder and yeah, simple. So let's see how that performs, right? So let's see. So this is the SaaS companies with SOC2. Let's see what it comes up with. So sometimes, um, you know, it's not 100% accurate. So it scrapes something that that is not correct. Um, no, thank you. No, thank you. It has been sold. So again, old, what caught your attention? Um, we use a third party vendor. We're happy with them. So again, not a good fit. Again, nice to connect, happy to connect. 2015, so old, yeah. So a message, not Diego Gomez. Uh, thanks for the note. We don't have our SOC 2 yet, but we're in the final process of getting our type one. So again, this begins a very good lead. We are using Tugboat Logic by OneTrust. We've looked at most of the players. We're happy with our investment. So happy lead, but that again, the only reason he replied is because we said something which is highly personalized. Now let's look at the other campaign customers that don't have SOC 2, right? And see what works for them. So our interview wanted to reach out again. 
it's very inspiring. I was doing some research. Seems like you don't have a SOC two certification, right? Do you see that as a blocker for bigger enterprise deals? Just curious. If you're trying to sell more enterprise deals, SOC two is a must, right? We've got a unique model. We're able to offer you a dedicated, much much better pricing. You know, got ten minutes. So again, much 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 is a copywriting hack because it makes it you know um, easier for them to you know it make it makes it stand out in their eyes, right? SMB is a great segment. The only problem is high churn, right? So you're you're needling them about their choice, right? And then finally, um, any interest and all. So let's see what kind of responses we got. So if we look at customers without uh, without SOC two, yeah, this is the yeah these are the you know um, responses we end up getting. I'm happy to accept. Um, that's an oldie. Uh, I think you've got the wrong guy. I had an exit from the business. We are SOC two certified, right? Um, so yeah, so you get end up getting a lot of good responses to these kinds of outreach because you're able to showcase that you've done some research. Now that research might be wrong, but again, that's another hack to getting replies because they are much more willing to correct you. Now you do end up looking like somebody who's not done a lot of research. But it's better than getting you know no responses and doing only like five to ten um, you know highly researched outreaches per day. So again. The mindset should be how do you scrape niche databases like podcasts that people in your industry go on? What extra research can you do on them to segment them further? And then what do you say to catch their attention and eventually convert them into leads and customers? So this is the kind of stuff we keep talking about on this YouTube channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, stay tuned, and we're coming up with many more videos so that you take away real tactics to implement in your cold outreach starting tomorrow. Take care now.